what's up everyone i was honestly not planning on vlogging today at all because my day has just been so rushed like normal um it is 12 30 and i made an appointment yesterday last minute to go do my under eye fillers so i wasn't expecting to make an appointment um but I just had a few things that popped up on my calendar that I wanted to look refreshed for. So I made an appointment and they had something for the next day. So I'm getting ready to head over to get refreshed. That's where I get my fillers, my Botox and all of that stuff done. So I hopped in my car and I was about to turn on my car and I was like, wait, I said that I would film this. So let's get it. Here is my under eye dilemma. Um, the first time I came here, I did true under eye, which was right here, but I don't feel like it, or I didn't feel like it, number one, lasted long or made a huge difference. Granted, that was almost probably two years ago. Then the next time that I came, probably eight months after that, I ended up doing upper cheek to see how that did instead. And I feel like that made a difference but I was still getting a lot of like this dip that's right here and the creasing under my eyes. So now I feel like I probably just need a little bit of both, like the best of both worlds. So I'm gonna wait to see what Jacob says and what he recommends. Also in the past, I have done jawline contouring and chin with him because I think I mentioned this in a prior vlog, when I close my mouth, I get this like dimpling in my chin, like watch. And so we did Botox and fillers to help. The Botox was to help relax the muscle so that way it doesn't get so tight when I close it. And then the filler was for the facial balancing. Um, I will put a picture of what that looked like. That picture that I'm inserting, that's when I did under eye, jawline, and chin. So I got a lot done that day. That was my first time. I was going a little willy nilly here, but I think it looked really beautiful. So. Yeah, I think today we're just gonna focus on the under eyes and then depending on the cost, we will talk about the Botox for the chin again. All right, you guys, I just finished my appointment and I sound so funny, but it's because I just did my chin and it's tight, it's real tight. And yeah, I just don't want to move my mouth around that much. So we're gonna talk like this for the time being. Um, super quick appointment, it's two o'clock and my appointment was at one. Went in, did the consult, did the numbing cream, and then the actual injections take about like 15 minutes and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna try and zoom in here. Um, 
it's hard to tell immediately if it made a difference because over time it is gonna technically fill in a little bit more so if i put in the before and after pictures maybe that'll make more of a difference to see it and then um we did the botox on the chin the botox is more for like the dimpling and the wrinkling but then he did add a little bit of the leftover filler to my chin for more of like a balanced profile so that you should be able to see in the before and afters too but yeah this is what i look like right now um and that's it so now i have to just go ahead and take my car to a body shop because somebody hit me the other day retrograde things and then i'm gonna work for a little bit and then i have a brow appointment you know how my days go guys this is this is my life always on the go always getting things done so yeah i'll check in with you later all right you guys it is the end of the day i know when i first checked in right after the appointment i couldn't really talk that well but as you can see it's been four hours after no not even four probably three hours and full movement of my mouth we're all good there um i will do a little bit of a close-up here so you can kind of see i haven't like picked any of this at all this is just like dried blood from the injection um but yeah i'm just gonna leave that and let it do its thing let it come off when it wants to and then this is how the chin looks which i will turn so that you can see my profile is nice and balanced yeah it's still the week that we got back from vacation so we're both a little tired we've been doing a lot around the house catching up on things obviously work getting back into the swing of things so i think tonight is just going to be a chill night for us we have some plans tomorrow but that's about it what's up you guys it is officially one week after my fillers and my botox so i wanted to give you just one last update before i put this all into a video so here we still have a little dot from the injection but that's really just like blood underneath the skin i want to say i'm not a professional let me say that but yeah i'm pretty sure that's what that is nothing else on this side and i want to say that you can't notice a big difference unless you're looking at it from a comparison point of view so for example if you look at the video from earlier in if you look at the clip from earlier in the video you could definitely see that i had this line here but if you didn't know me and if you were looking at me right now you wouldn't necessarily look at me and say oh wow she's had something done which is great that's what get refreshed is for right they want to take your beauty and enhance your natural elements um, which is what I love. Every time I go there, I feel like I'm getting just what I need and not, you know, anything extravagant or crazy. As far as the chin is concerned, you can see it's healed very nicely. It's nice and balanced, it's even, um, which I really love. The way I like to describe Botox and fillers is Botox is going to prevent something from happening and the fillers are going to fill an area that need to be filled so for example i want to prevent my chin from dimpling whenever i make certain faces or when i close my mouth so earlier in the video when i closed my mouth and i had that dimpling now you can see that i don't have it which is great that's what we want right so we don't do botox under the eyes we do filler under the eyes because we want to fill in that area so it's important to note that fillers do not uh correct darkness always for example dark under eyes are pretty genetic in my family so fillers are just going to fill the area it's not going to necessarily change any darkness i want to say that i just have really round eyes like this right here that's not going to be fixed by fillers that's the shape of my eyeball that right there will never put filler there because th there's nothing for it to do i can't fill uh you know this skin to match how far out this skin comes out if that makes any sense but hopefully that clarified it for you guys a little bit i will put everything in the description of this video as far as where i went um the pricing that's on their website i do want to note that i am a i want to say it's a black member <laughs> with get refreshed so basically what i did is i paid for a membership that included 
um, some syringes of Botox and filler. And then throughout the year, I get 30% off. So I'll include their normal pricing on their website in the description, but that's also not what I pay. I get 30% off because I paid for the membership. So I just wanted to put that out there. I know that's also a common question, like how much was it? Things like that. So if you made it through to this video and you're still watching, I appreciate you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, like this video. I'm super close to hitting my goal of a thousand subscribers. So this would help me and mean a ton to me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.